Hi guys, so to start off I've already done my foundation, my concealer and my powder to save time and so we're going to start on bronzer. So I'm using my Benefit Hula bronzer on a contouring brush and I'm just going to contour my cheeks with that and I really love this bronzer because it's completely matte so it's not going to make you look, uh, well it's just going to do a really good job at contouring I guess. And I'm also going to bring it down my neck and up on my temples. And yeah, I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Next, I'm going to take blush, and this is the Rimmel. This Rimmel blush is really nice because it's a very, very pink color, and I thought it would be perfect for a Valentine's look. So I'm just applying that on the apples of my cheeks, and I'm smiling and bringing it up slightly onto my cheekbones. And yeah. <laughs> And next I'm going to do highlighter. Of course I'm using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. And I'm just going to use a Fellas Blush brush to apply this on my cheekbones. And also down the center of my nose and on my cupid's bone and in the corners of my eyes. Because you want to look nice and glowy for Valentine's Day. Now moving on to eyebrows, I'm using this Models Prefer kit and taking the lightest colour, I'm going to start filling in my brows, um, starting at the front of my brows and just drawing very light lines that go in the direction of my hair and then I'm going to fill in the front and just continue to do that until they look quite full but not overdrawn because that would look silly. <laughs> And yeah, again, I'm just doing the same thing on the other side. And now I'm taking my Urban Decay Primer Potion to prime my eyes for the eyeshadow that we're going to be applying next. And I'm also going to bring this underneath my eyes because we're going to be putting eyeshadow there as well. And then I'm using my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Inked Pink and I'm just going to apply that all over my lids and also underneath my eyes. Not underneath, but like along the... Not like, okay, whatever. <laughs> and now I'm taking this Colour Infallible Eyeshadow, which is matches the inked pink perfectly, applying it all over my lids, again, under my lash line, and doing the exact same thing on the other side. Obviously. <laughs> taking my trusty Naked palette, I'm going to take the colour Naked, and using a massive blending brush, I'm going to blend that into my crease. And the reason I made that weird face before is because I had something in my eye, so sorry. <laughs> Again, bringing it under my eye because I like to bring it under my eye. And then taking this slightly smaller brush, I'm taking the colour Buck, and I'm just going to place this on the outer V to create a little bit of definition. And I really wanted this to look very soft and romantic, so that's why I'm, I'm blending out all the colours really nicely because... That's the look I was going for because I thought it would be perfect for Valentine's Day and I feel like you don't want to wear a lot of makeup on Valentine's Day. Yeah, see, I'm just taking my blending brush and whenever I feel like it's getting a little bit harsh on the edges, I'm using that. Now I'm taking Smog from the Naked Palette and I'm just deepening out the outer corner a little bit more. Now taking this black eyeliner, instead of using liquid eyeliner today, I'm going to be lining my waterline with, not waterline, my top lash line with this. Um, you don't have to do it neatly because we're actually going to be smudging it out. Again, um, I wanted this to look very soft and romantic, so I decided it'd be better to use this than liquid eyeliner. And then I'm just going to smudge that out um, so it looks nice and blended and smudged. And I'm also bringing it up to create a sort of wing. Nothing too harsh though. Just to sort of lift up your eyes. And you can keep doing this for as long as you look as long as you like until you get the desired look. And then I'm bringing my Rimmel eyeliner underneath my eyes and I'm curling my eyelashes and applying mascara. And I'm using my Maybelline Falsies today because I ran out of my Benefit They're Real, unfortunately, but this one's still pretty good. So that's it for the eyes. And now we're moving on to lips. I'm taking this Essence Lip Liner in Cute Pink and I'm lining my lips and filling them in with this. And then I'm taking my MAC Angel and I'm just going to fill my lips in with that. And that's it for the makeup.
Now moving on to hair, I'm going to be creating some really nice soft curls. So I'm using my Tresemme heat tamer to start off with and just spraying that in my hair to protect it. And then I'm going to brush it out. And I'm not even going to be sectioning my hair today because I want it to look really, really natural. So I'm taking my MUK hair curler and I'm very simply just wrapping about one inch sections of hair around the curler. Holding it for about 15 seconds and then letting go. And basically you just want to do that to your entire head. And yeah, once you're done, you should have some really nice pretty curls <laughs> like this Show it. 